festival aims to be a celebration of motorsport. We're only showing the best here from, of course, the Red Bull F1 team, but the other classes as well. I've never done one of these events before. To get my first one here at home is uh, pretty cool. It's still a bit surreal, you know, driving down one of the streets in, in an F1 car. It's probably sinking a bit later on. Really happy. <laughs> We came over here just to try and give the people of Western Australia a taste of what Formula One's about. Mark was quite keen to do something here, so uh, here we are. The last time I was here, I was 17 or 18, so it's about 16, 17 years ago. Obviously, it's a pretty tiny little track, and so the F1 car is a bit big, but it's good to be here. At least the people get to see an F1 car in, uh, in the flesh. Mark is a superstar. He arrived here, and there was groupies outside the press conference waiting for signatories. But when he stepped out of the car, everybody yelled and a crowd formed. He is a mega star. The visit here proves it. Formula One draws people, whether we go to Chile or Norway or anywhere, you know, people are fascinated with seeing Formula One cars. So hopefully everyone can get in and have a good look at the car. Formula One in general this year was an amazing season. Interest in general has gone up in this part of the world because uh, they've had an Australian towards the front of the grid. Big turnout today, a lot of people. It's been good to be able to sign a few autographs, have some photos, have some people. When you put those two things together, Red Bull and F1, it just seems to create this magic. It just sparks, and Perth has just gone nuts. Fantastic. I mean, this is where I live, and uh, to be able to just drive up the road to Barbagallo Raceway and see this sort of stuff going on is a, it's a real privilege. They're definitely athletes, so I've got a lot of respect for drivers and the work that they put in behind the scenes to get the best out of themselves on the day. It's a really exciting thing to see. Yeah. When we got there, opened the car door and, and got out, all of a sudden there was little kids and, and everyone asking for a, for a photo or an autograph. He doesn't need much advice. He's got his head screwed on and he's going to be very much a force in the future, you know, in the sport, I think. It all went to plan, you know, did three laps, just got the crowd to get an idea of what speed it's got. And then we pulled up near the pits and lit it up and got quite a bit of smoke and quite a bit of noise. I think the crowd likes that sort of stuff.